Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. I right, welcome to another video. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through a bunch of photos that I took at, um, uh, it was probably the last like two or three comic cons. It's not all my photos. I'm, I'm slowly going through and trying to organ every, organize everything for each day. I'm still missing a bunch of stuff, but, um, <clears throat> these are basically like casual photos that I take, um, just for myself of stuff that I like and uh, the quality is pretty hit and miss on a lot of it. Many times things are behind glass or you can't get close to them. Um, but uh, it's a whole variety of stuff. There's some stuff from the Wildstorm signing. I'm still kind of the 25th anniversary thing. I'm trying to go through and organize everything still. Um, I just finished a deadline yesterday, so I'm, I'm trying to catch up with reviews and lessons for Patreon, um, over the next few days, which is all I'm going to be working on. So it's a lot of penciling for me. And, uh, then I'm getting right back on Blaster Kid. I mean, I'm, I'll work on Blaster Kid today and then also the Silent Wolf piece. So all that stuff is coming, but I just had, I had basically four deadlines stacked in a row. Uh, and uh, I finally finished everything yesterday. So, all right, we're going to go into full screen mode. And again, this is just going to be a casual look down memory lane and of a bunch of different photos that I took uh, over the last few years. There's some really, really cool stuff. I wish the quality was better on some of them. I didn't edit these. I, I didn't open anything that was completely lame, but uh, there may be some blurry photos. We'll just move past those. So this is one of the Court of the Dead pieces from uh, Sideshow. I cannot remember this guy's name, and even if I could, I probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it right. I wouldn't... Well, I won't even guess. I did kind of know his name at one point. This stuff is beautifully, beautifully designed, though. Um, sorry, I want to close this. Uh, uh, it's a close-up of his uh, arm. Or what was that? Let's see. This is another one of the Core of the Dead things. These things are so cool. They're super, super creepy. There's tons of superhero stuff. Just settle in, and you can have this as kind of a chill video. Um, but yeah, usually I'm in a rush so I don't get the most artistically pleasing photos. Like, this is kind of blurry. I'm curious, my camera every year on my phone is better and better, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes uh, for future cons. And also, I think looking at these will, will kick me nuts. So this is a shot from my table in Artist Alley, and um, the year that DeviantArt um, uh, sponsored... Artist Alley, they really set it up beautifully, and they were with uh, Wacom. But uh, they had these screens, like Jumbotrons, and they would show your art. And so they were showing my black drawings on the Jumbotron. It was pretty cool. So was, like, uh, the piece is called Fate. But yeah, it was fun to see them so big and like up above the crowd. They would scroll through about six of your pieces, I think, was what you submitted. This is Alex Sinclair's um, Copics, which now it's funny because he's got them in dividers. He has a beautiful case, but it's so funny. <laughs> when you sit next to a professional colorist and they color a lot at the show, this is the magic that they bring with them. It's funny because his reds, like this kind of shade of red, there's not as many as you would think. He's got his Superman blue, and that's the red that he uses, I think, for him. This was a cool statue. I almost bought this one, not at the show, but I, online. I almost ordered her. Oh, you know what it is? Is I think some of these photos, I'm kind of far away, and so I'm zooming in to get them, and that's why they're so um, dull. I, it's like, oh, there's Guillermo del Toro. I was really far away, but he, um, Anatomy Tools is really close to my um, table in Artist Alley, and yeah, Guillermo del Toro popped in very interesting he must be friends with the woman or something like that i can't imagine that there really would be too much there that he would buy um but uh they do have some horror stuff and and whatnot but it's funny because he travels with like a little group and then security too okay so these are some of the statues that's not me but um these are great these are so cool we saw a little bit of this in the video i love the base on this one in particular i thought that this really looked beautiful the um kind of rocky planet and then this just killer killer green like plastic looking stuff um but yeah this is a really really nice statue the anatomy on the flash is on point too god dang 
Sideshow is just crushing it. They use a lot of like 3D models and stuff like this for the poses and whatnot now. But man, they've really, really perfected it. But look at the beautiful figure on this. This is so good. His muscles are just bulging at the seams. This is all just kick-ass stuff. Speaking of bulging muscles... <laughs> I'm like, dramatic pause. No, I did a 45-minute video today breaking down... Um, well, starting to break down uh, a double-page spread that Greg Capullo had done in Batman, the Batcave shot. Uh, very, very complicated piece, and uh, it was very, very challenging, but I'm in the process of dissecting that for Patreon. So there's 45 minutes of footage up, and I'm going to kind of keep going back to it because it's now it's become sort of my Everest. I want to really kind of um, take it apart. Um but uh, you can find the first part there. A lot of people have been asking me. They're, they're, everybody works on their figures and their heads and their hands and stuff like that. And then the problem is, is the next huge chasm is being able to put them in scenes, you know, and have backgrounds and stuff and perspective. And it can beat you up pretty good. So, so many people had asked about it that I'm, I'm combining figure drawing with um, the perspective and environments and stuff like that should be a really good series so and i couple it with michael hampton anatomy and um marcos mateo mestri um drawing books he's great this is beautiful look at the freaking base and the colors on this come on that is so nice it is really really cool what I really respond to with sideshow statues is we get art, meaning this could just as easily be a drawing, but because it takes up three-dimensional space, as someone who is completely obsessed with drawing, I love to be able to see the turnaround of these figures. You know, I like to be able to look above it and see what the shot looks like. I like to be able to look beneath it up. You know, I love to see the way the light falls over it. You know, you could light this thing a million different ways. It's just really, really fun and uh, always a real treat to see. And that's really cool, too, the way that they did the um, clouds by Superman. Oh, this Harley's great. Sorry, there's a reflection on it. It's weird. Or is it seen through? It must be a reflection. I don't know what that is. The dogs, the hyenas are great. Yeah, it's just the sideshow is phenomenal. Cool props. Prime one. There's some other like more indie ones. I think this is Hot Toys. I could be wrong, is it? One six scale vehicle. Very, very cool. Oh my god. I just, I love this stuff to no end. I have no room for it, so it's nothing that I can collect aggressively. But uh, boy, I love seeing them. The fantasy of which ones I would buy. When I did that other video and I was looking at um, that, uh, the female Terminator statue was really cool. Stayed with me. Oh, this was when I signed at the Megadeth Heavy Metal signing. Uh, this guy came up dressed as Vic Rattlehead, which was pretty cool. But yeah, it was it was really interesting. I've talked about this before. I, I'll say it real fast. But but I've I've done signings before of comic books that I've represented, and you know you have a certain fan base that comes up. Doing something for a band as iconic as Megadeth and then signing for it and meeting Megadeth's fans was fascinating. It was really, really a trip because one, you see how huge their impact is on social culture. You get it, you know, you see like a band like Metallica and they play for hundreds of thousands of people, sometimes for one show. Um, they've sold millions and millions of records, but when you do uh, something that represents the band and you meet this fan base it really come, brings it home and you go fuck man like these guys really matter to their fans and they're they're the the fan base age range was from old people i mean like that look like grandparents to little kids and it was really really cool so yeah that was fun and and i've worked for iron maiden so i've 
done um, Legacy of the Beast, quite a few issues of Legacy of the Beast, and then also um, some prints that I did for the band. So this is Carl Kopinski art. We saw when I walked by, I um, shot a quick video just sort of walking by um, him. But uh, here's a few of his pieces. This, it's funny because they they all start to morph together because this could be Tarada in a weird way, but um, these are Carl's pieces. But they they start to blend, um, you know, the the characters and stuff that they draw and the approaches that they're using. But Kopinski is a badass. Yeah, these guys are really good. There he is. Man, look at those drawings. That is really beautiful. So you can get a blank cover for $500. Limited edition. I'm assuming you pay 500 bucks, you get the blank sketchbook, and then he draws on the cover, would be my guess. I could be wrong. There's Carl. This is a nice setup. I actually, this is like, I'm going to get this from my office so that when I'm recording myself drawing and inking, it looks better. Oh, you know what, though? This is the camera that's filming. This is a multi multiple view. But uh, I will get a better setup by the end of summer. Summer goal. This is a beautiful little drawing. Yeah, it was funny going through all this stuff. I was like, man, I need to step up my game. So if you feel like your game isn't at my level then we all need to step up our game because I'm telling you, I'm only bringing like 10% of what I should be to the table right now. I try my best and it feels like I'm giving 110%. But then if I, if I really analyze what I'm doing, I'm like, dude, bring it, Rich. Bring more. You're slacking. So I feel it. It's John Stewart. I'm obsessed. With, you know what? I love the color green. <laughs> <laughs> like this bright green color so I think it, it like it draws me in because of that too it is a really exciting looking statue though don't worry there's more more this is Lobo's base I can tell by the boots look at him crunching stuff 730 bucks it's a funny amount why not just 750 don't insult me with 730 <laughs> there he is look at that that's so awesome Oh my gosh. Look at those guns. Literally, both. His arms and the guns. I'm thinking that the bull... There was a Sideshow statue where... I think it was a different one. Where you could buy the bulldog separate. My thought is, is just include it. Do it. Or I guess they're exclusives for the premium format. He likes it. He's like, yes. Look at this guy. Who is that? He looks suspicious. Oh, man, look at that. That is so kick-ass. Scarecrow. Holy shit. Jason Todd coming back from the dead. She can't even see the horror that awaits her here, but they're looking at the the Joker statue there, I think. Oh, this Mr. Freeze is great, too. It's not a very good photo of the Scarecrow. Like I said, they're under glass, and so it's like you have to get like a weird angle where um, one, it's there's not a glare, and it was really crowded at this point. I'll see if I have a better one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's really really cool. People are pretty particular on the scarecrow. I know I've done sketches of him before, and uh, everybody's kind of got their favorite iteration. Some people have a particular hat that they like him in, or no hat. Some don't like the straw hair, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, he's an interesting character. Oh, man, look at that. Can you imagine? And there's people that have dozens and dozens of these sideshow statues, and they have room for this. These pieces are very, very big. You either have a very understanding spouse, or you have a very, very big basement, or just a huge house. Man, Sideshow just kills it. I love his boots. They re really do great shoes at Sideshow. I know I was mentioning that in the other video, but uh, it is true that their, their gear... I really took a lot of photos of this guy. <laughs> Mr. Freeze is back. It's awesome. Oh, that's funny. 
<laughs> to be determined. I wouldn't pay very much for this, to be honest. It's all right. It's not blowing me away by any means. No offense. This is better. Yeah, that's cool. That costume is great. And this is cute, too. Whip. So these are different miles. One-tenth scale. So those are pretty tiny. It's really, really cool, though. Wow, what was this? Let's see if I got a better photo of this. God dang it. Come on, Rich. What happened? Oh, there it is. I don't really know what that is. General Outrider? Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. I Honestly, I would have guessed there was some sort of cyborg venom. If it's from a Marvel movie, I don't really... I don't really watch superhero movies that often. So, um... I wouldn't know if it's for like from one of the Avengers movies or Iron Man or something. That's cool. Thanos, get him. Man, that's a really exciting pose. He's really like in the man, he's just moving. Yeah, that's a great, great pose. It's almost like they took a screen cap and then did it but it's not stiff you know you could you could even with reference very very easily um blow this pose and not have it as dynamic as it is it's a combination of things it's the tilt of his body which is difficult to see in this shot because we're looking kind of straight at it but he's leaning towards us a little bit this has got a great flow to it his fingers are juxtaposed in a very, very nice and non-generic pattern. This back leg lifted is really, really fantastic. And the turn of the foot and the direction that it's at is great. There's a little bit of a kink to his ankle there that makes it exciting. Also, his face. His face is moving with the pose. It's, it's subtle. But if you kind of created like sort of flow lines, there's a very, very nice flow through this figure that uh, the artist clearly was very aware of, either naturally or by um, education. But that's why th these guys that design these statues now are fucking probably phenomenal artists on top of the fact that they're great um, 3D sculptors. I don't think many of these are laid out now um, traditionally. I would guess that they're nearly all done probably in ZBrush or something similar to the ZBrush program. And they probably even have um, armatures that they use to set up the basic poses at times. You know, they have like their... Sorry, there's like a car screeching outside. I was waiting for the crash. Um, but they might have like a brute figure that they can at least use as a base model and then they can morph it and things like that if need be. Why reinvent the wheel every time that you need to do one? Although the character structures are very different. So, man, this thing is megalithically big. Oh, wait. Yeah, 1350. This is probably big. I'm thinking this might be a third scale. It doesn't say. I don't know. The Maquette's one third scale. God damn, that thing is big. This has got to weigh so much. It looks like it's all polystone, too. I'm not seeing any um, plastic. Sometimes they'll create little areas that are different materials, but... Man, that is just gnarly. <laughs> That's a funny reflection. His face. Man, he looks pissed. And I like that he's looking off. Do you see? He's not like... He's looking up and out. It's a nice touch. Dude, Sideshow is the shit. Or just statues in general. Great statues are the bomb diggity. Bomb diggity. And look, you can you play with the lighting on this for my patrons. You'll know what I'm talking about. You see the light falling over the figure? And then if we even pull it darker... You can see the light sources, like all, all this. It was actually top planes. Anything that's popping out is going to catch light. That top rim of it. Okay. This is all really good. Look at that. That's a nice Wolverine. He looks pissed. 
this is good. Sometimes their, their, their Wolverines can actually be a little bit of a miss for me. It's, it's one of the characters that I think that overall they do a nice job with, but sometimes I'm not crazy about the face that they put on him. This looks pretty good. Oh, man, that is rad. This looks like plastic, though. You see this? I don't like the, the joint separation that I'm seeing. Yeah, that's weird. I don't, I'm not feeling that. I don't know if it just is, like, a work in progress. That's weird. It should blend together more. These gaps are bothersome. I'm still recording. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. Yeah, usually they... The seams, you wouldn't see the seams like that. That's interesting. I wouldn't want that as a display if it had those joints. Especially for the price that you pay for these statues. This is a great Hawkman. Man. And that looks sculpted. For a second I thought it was fabric, but that, that actually looks like it is a sculpt. Man, that is so cool. That's a powerful, powerful piece. Big, chunky anatomy. Oh, man, look at that. The base is great, too. Yeah, that is cool. There's lots of fun stuff coming up in this video, so if you're not into statues, you can sort of zoom around a little bit. But I do go through a bunch of uh, other stuff. This is cool. It's interesting seeing the paint job on this guy so clear. I'm wondering if this is... Okay, so this is a new prototype. This isn't the original statue of this guy. This is a second version. That's why... It's, I was going to say the first one is more of a grayish blue. This has got more purpley, fleshy stuff going on. That's so creepy. The little gimpy hands are weird. Oh, okay, so I don't even remember this statue either. This is a new one. Oh, wow, yeah, she's creepy. And why don't all my pictures look this clear? I must have been able to get really close to this one, and then it wasn't the rushing or something. Like I said, it's just... I go through and just try to get as much as I want. Oh, look at that. That's so sick. This is the only photo I have of the statue. I'm not a huge Predator guy, but, man... It's hard not to appreciate the awesomeness of this. This looks so gnarly. Like, man, this just looks brutal. He's going to get you eight ways coming just with that mouth. Oh, yeah, this is the cool props. Uh, this is the dog alien. I'm obsessed with aliens, so there's going to prove probably a lot of photos. I'll move through them kind of quick. Oh yeah, this is the um, this one is kind of based on the move from the movie, and it's got the statue, the rubber, uh, like almost like wetsuit vibe to it. Some people liked it, some didn't. There's a lot of a lot of uh, opinions on what's the best way to handle this character. I, I like this statue. I actually thought it was very, very cool. I considered getting it a few times, even on the used market after the fact. That's so cool. They're always going to make new alien statues, though, so it's one of those things where you can kind of wait and get like the one that blows you away at one point i was considering though actually collecting alien statues and grabbing a bunch i ended up just getting like small um like 10 inch figures of aliens and they kind of scratch the itch at a much smaller price point and less of a footprint in my office this is very cool 
it's funny because I'm friends with Lee Bermejo, and now Prime One has done a bunch of pieces based on Lee's designs for Batman and whatnot. And uh, I know that they send him at least a copy of each one. I'm thinking, like, man, <laughs> they must be taking up so much room because the Prime One stuff is all one third scale, which is even bigger than the quarter scale. Most of Sideshow, well, not most, but a lot of Sideshow is what they call quarter scale. And then. Um, one third scale would be, you know, one third the size of a full size creature or whatever. They could be freaking huge. I always wanted the original version of this guy. This is a, a second iteration of this character, but the original, the base is so freaking cool. Another shot of him. You can see how it looks like a costume. You know what I mean? It, it's it's like more accurate to what it really was. Bruce. Man, that is great. That's very cool. Again, beautiful base. Oh, wow, this is cool. I remember this, but wouldn't have remembered that I have it. This looks like... Interesting. It looks like fabric pants. And this too. And this. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know which way I fall on that. Do I like fabric or do I want the sculpt? It's almost... Is this a Torado design? I like her pistol. <laughs> the tape around the handle is funny. And this too. It's it, This is really cool. Really cool piece. Not sold on those shoes for the end of the world. You're not going to be able to run in those. She she needs to get better shoes. Something more safe. Oh, this is great. Wow, that is really, really cool. That's so creepy. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, that is awesome. Shock and damage. Oxygen. Wow. Damn, that is cool looking. See, we're at Comic Con together, guys. Through my horrible photography. <laughs> like I, said, I actually do take decent pictures. These just aren't a good indication of it. I'm Russian. I'm Russian here. These are hack photos. But they were really just for me, just to, to remind myself of the pieces and stuff like that, and maybe like seek out like someone that actually takes time and does them. This is very very cool. I, I don't know what the deal is with this necklace. The Flash um, statue had this. What do these necklaces mean? Do they have some sort of symbolism. That gun is great. Oh, that is really really cool. Man, it's creepy. Hunters. The boy. Hunters Day after World War Three. Is that what it says? Sold out. Interesting. There's an alien bust. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, behind glass. Alien mythos. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, look at that. Damn. That is some insanity. Oh, look at Jonesy. Watch out, Jonesy, there's an alien. Ooh, that is cool. But there's Ben Kenobi. I love the mythos of... Uh, Ben Kenobi, the young old, the Ewan McGregor, and then it's got sort of the younger Al Guinness, or uh, I think it has a switchable head. You can have either head, but it's the Mythos statue. He's got all the like funky kind of gear that he's collected. It's like a Tuscan Raider um, weapon and stuff that he's holding. That's really cool. Yeah, the glare is brutal. Oh, okay, so this is from a Jay Lee original. Uh, one of the art dealers had this, and I took a photo of it. Pretty cool, right? It's fun to see. 
the um, original art. It's interesting because the it's so this is the white of the paper and this is white splattered ink, but um, you can really see the difference of the color. Like the paper has got a little bit of a yellowish sort of, or even maybe like um, see very very light sepia color on it, and then this has got more of a blue blue white. That's Alex Sinclair, Scott Williams. They always have a big line. The Jim Lee crew are very popular. Very, very popular. This is a Travis piece from Albert Moy's booth. It was a, I thought this was a commission. Well, you know what? That's really weird. So, wow, funny. My friend must have flipped this, or Travis did two versions of it. I actually know the person that originally got this, but I, he doesn't really sell his art, so I'm not sure, but I remember these. Oh, you know what? It might he might I think Travis did too, like at the time. Like he had maybe started one and didn't finish it or something. Queen Alien. It doesn't look like the room is open yet. You can see it's much more empty. They a lot of times won't let um, you go inside when they're sitting. So this is from IDW. So we're gonna get to the IDW pictures it looks like. Now this is um Kevin Eastman's office there or or a recreation of like what his office looked like. It's pretty incredible. I've never actually really looked at this photo. Um I just kind of snapped him through the window, but look at all the stuff he's got in there. What is this? Let's look over here. Hard to see what that is. It's pretty neat, right? If you're a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, this is probably pretty cool, especially if you've never seen it. I just got those Civil War toys. Lord of the Rings. Does that Pez? Yeah. But it's fun, right? That's a packed office. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Man, Kevin made bank on the turtles. Metallica? It looks like Kirk Hammett. <laughs> I don't think it is. I don't know what that is. But it looks like Craig Hammett drawing. 1985. Yeah, this guy crushed it. There's the crow. I like Visine. <laughs> Bullet shells? Okay. Oh, and here's another shot. Isn't that cool? I could see getting creative in a spot like that. You sit down. This would inspire you to draw. If you were having trouble with something, you could look around and get a little inspirado. Okay, so this is the signing for um, the Wildstorm 25th anniversary. They have a little bit of original art around the room. This is J. Scott Campbell, and um, we're signing. There's a big row of tables of everybody. So we'll see. I don't. Uh, that's me um, in front of this. Representing the Scorpions here. That's Matt Broom. I think that's one of the colorists. You see I have a badge or a wristband so I don't get kicked out. This girl got a big tattoo of a piece that I drew. This piece is called Dreamer. But uh, she came by and showed me the tattoo. But it's pretty crazy to see someone when they get a huge, huge tattoo of your work. This is a print that Jay Lee gave me of Harley Quinn. It was very nice of him. And I was very excited. I still have it. I love it. J. Lee rocks. This is... Is this J? This might be J. Lee. Oh, you know what? I don't think it is. Someone had this print, and they showed it to me at the convention, and I really liked it, so I asked if I could get a photo of it. Castro. Yeah, I thought this was really cool. Sometimes I'll even take pictures of people's shirts, if they're wearing a cool shirt. Because I always like visual ideas... This is David Mack. This is our row where we um, are in Artist Alley. And that's a shot from like sitting at my table. There's anatomy tools, how close they sit to them. And then uh, if I look down, Artist Alley is all the way, like if you're facing the convention center, it's all the way to the left. And so literally this is about as far over on this side of the convention center as you can go. But this goes literally for like two or three city blocks. 
um, and you can just go and go and go. It can take a long time to get to the other end of the room, which you can't even see. You figure it goes from 5,000 to 100, row 100. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a haul. Literally, a haul. Okay, some more of these. We'll skip some of these. Let's see what we got. That's kind of cool. So this is a new version of her. There's Mr. Freeze. This is an interesting Batman. Red gear. The gun is okay. I think it's it's a decent design. It's not blowing me away compared to some of the stuff we see. This is nice, though. The base is cool. Yeah, the guns are so-so. Hmm, that's weird. It feels a little... I don't know. I like when it, things mechanical look like that they would do stuff. Like that there's... Um, oh... As we see more, you can kind of like this looks a, even though it's so fictional, it looks a little more functional. Like you go, yeah, like these big rubber pipes connect to this, and there's this like weird, you know, you have to pull this out, and th this stuff cools it maybe or heats it, and all this. But that said, I don't know jack shit about guns, so who am I to say? He's like, Rich, just stop. You're embarrassing yourself. You don't know anything about guns. You know anything about pain? <laughs> it's interesting. I don't even remember this. So bonus points. What scratched him that made that cut? Do we know? I don't know what this is from. Is this Frank Miller? It's weird seeing it in such bright color. I don't know what that would be. But the what the wound is from. That's really cool. He looks pretty lean, but it's just because they don't have any of his back involved. Oh, man, look at this crazy thing. This dude looks like he means business. He's going to go get a burrito. He's like, out of my way. I need Mexican food now. Oh, and that's Big Chap from the first Alien movie. And that's okay. Is that the cool props? It feels like it needs a repaint, and the teeth look kind of sloppy. Interesting. Oh, this was a weird statue. It's just like, he's so stiff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this one. Oh, yeah, we looked at this one in the video. The thing is so cool. Or, oh, no, it's that one we saw. This is great, though, too. Man, look at that pose. Jeez. That is... Whoever is doing these poses is a really, really visionary uh, artist. That's great, too. This dude knows what's up. This is nice. And that's a posable cape. That's a little trickier for your statues when you have to, to pose the cape yourself. Or they have people when they set up these toys that really know what they're doing. This is a more simple cape, but some of the bigger ones that are posable, you could really kind of struggle with it. This is nice. I don't remember this at all. Her gear looks a little plasticky. Like, it looks a little Hasbro. I don't know. Like, this looks a little cheap. Always the critic, Rich. Always the critic. Oh, look, there's Dan Fraga and Danny Mickey. You can see how big Dan is, how tall he is, or how tiny, petite, we might say, that Danny is. Danny's funny. He almost always does this pose. I have a picture of he and I together, and uh, he's doing something similar. But Dan's a great guy, and so is Danny. They're both very, very nice people. So shout out to both of those dudes. They rock. This is a guy doing cosplays, Thanos. This picture doesn't do it justice, but he actually had a very, very cool costume. And this guy, it was Chewbacca. That's probably Buckethead. I didn't even know it. No, it's not Buckethead. But uh, he was very, very tall. I bought this book. I own this. It's very, very good. Shout out to James Smith for recommending it to me. It was very, very good. 
Okay, this is from very, very far away, but these are some of the costumes, and this is uh, where I saw this. This is from the DC green room, sort of the, if you look out the window of where, where the um, private rooms are up above. Oh, it's not very crowded right there, though. This is, it must be early in the morning. I bet I'm grabbing coffee, and I went and I took a photo before they let everyone in. Because the room, they would literally be just completely full of people. Oh, yeah, you can see. See, they're bringing everyone in, and then they let them out. Or, like, it's like they haven't released them. This is a sketch I did on a sketch cover. 2014, so it was a while ago. This is another one. Oh, this is me and David Cho. This is from a long time ago. David Cho is a graffiti artist and super, super badass um, painter. And uh, I love David Cho, and uh, he's great. I was so excited to see him. I'm very fat there. I'm less fat now. Less-ish. Uh, this was someone's shirt. I liked it, so I took a photo of it. <laughs> I like to put people on, so this is some more of the, um, that stuff from the Jumbotron thingy. It's fun to see your art so big. and They, they look great. The pictures don't do really justice. It had pretty high-res detailed Alex's uh, pens again. These are cool. These are big busts uh, from Sideshow. Damn, why are the photos all blurry? I'm telling you, I must have been far away. I was trying to zoom in. This is cool. The little, like, faces in there. It's very Guillermo del Toro. This was cool. I, this was the one I almost picked up. These guys kind of... They were supposed to be full-size sailors that were, like, dead. Like, she's supposed to be really big. Like, she's, like, 16 feet tall. Or maybe even bigger. And then these guys are little... Like, they're supposed to be full-size dead humans. But they end up looking like children. So the scale was a little bit off on it. It was kind of one of the big complaints people had. And these are all old blurry from far away. Bummer. She's pretty cool. Oh, I remember this year. They had it in, like, its own little room. This guy is cool. Like I said, this is one of the more underrated... Uh, like, I don't know if they ever released it. But this thing... It's so creepy up close. It's like it looks like something from the um, Pirates of the Caribbean ride or Caribbean ride. Um, but man, the hair and then the sort of um, dried flesh with it starting to almost turn into like rawhide or something like that on him was just nuts. How well it was done and all this, like the aging on it, was phenomenal phenomenal attention to detail like this is just turning into rawhide basically it was unreal and look at that it's really cool but so dark so so dark <laughs> he's like come on bitch let's go grab let's go grab lunch oh yeah i love this one too the boot the exalted reaper general but oh okay this is the original but is it well let me see oh, okay i guess that's it there's guillermo little did he know he would be a character in death stranding soon or maybe he did know at that point and this is just some batman cows filmed with a potato so to speak i think this is the last photo yeah okay that was all I could find today besides some very, very short video clips that are going to all need to be edited together. So I'll keep working on this, and tomorrow I'll try to have something fun to check out. But all right, have a great day. I'll talk to you all later, and uh, yeah, check out Patreon. That would be my recommendation. All right, bye.